Did you guys know that tigers and lions both have each other's genes in them? It's pretty amazing. And the most amazing part is this is a liger, of course, when they breed. And Cody, tell them about how we're, we're they already overlap in the wild as it is, right? Yeah, we have the wild populations of lions living right now within the borders of Asia. They live in the gear forest in India. And those lions actually can share the same habitats as tigers in modern day. 900 pounds of beast to roam around is pretty amazing. And when they get together, they make literally the combined weight of the lion and the tiger all in one animal when they breed together. And there's been stories for decades about giant brown beast. And I don't know, but this is a giant brown beast. What do you guys think? <laughs> that he is. <laughs> he is a beast. He's just out for the night walk. And we're just taking a moment because, you know, everybody watches stuff on the internet all the time but they never really do the research. They just follow the person's comment before. And you know what? There's a lot of facts out Was the world's largest liger, was the uh, record setting liger boy in the Guinness Book of World Records. He was 12 feet tall and 900 pounds. And just to verify, we're at Myrtle Beach Safari, an incredible 16 place. countries historically had lions where they overlapped with tigers. So tigers have been a thing that's been around for thousands of years. Then when they rebred backwards with the tigers and the lions, those animals took on the genetic representation of the liger and would take the advantage of those genetics, and those have carried on into the modern tigers and lions that we deal with today. Man, I'm telling you guys, Cody has literally been raised with these amazing animals. Me, not so much. I'm, I'm the big snake guy, <laughs> but this is incredible. Man, I just can barely believe that I'm even able to do this. And I really appreciate you, Cody, sharing me sharing your your living the dream life that you're doing here because i'm telling you i do a lot of fun stuff but this is absolutely incredible and it's not something that anybody would just do this in my lifetime has been an animal cody's literally been dealing with big cats his whole entire life and this is as big as they come guys <laughs> this guy is the biggest is the definitely a dream of an animal he oh seems my. like something out of a prehistoric He's magazine <laughs> He is such a beautiful animal and such a mascot for all animals and why we should love him, take care of him, and only never just protect everything in the wild that you possibly can. Just so amazing. Hey, are you hip checking me? Marking his territory there. <laughs> just like a little kitty, he's got to pee on everything. Wow. Okay, and we just passed that lion, so you hear his talking oh. change. He's going, arr, 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 so he's the grumbling. cool part is, I, I learned here is that because he's a liger, he actually is bilingual. He speaks tiger around tigers and lion around lion, which is pretty incredible that he's literally bilingual because he's got both genes complete in him. So anyway, wow. He does you know, when people think that something that can happen, that does happen naturally, and can happen naturally, people freak out about. But I don't know, maybe they just freak out about because it's such an amazing animal. Look at this thing. The wow. biggest misconception is that there were never lions outside of Africa, but there are currently populations of lions living in Asia, right there in India in the Gear Forest, interacting with tigers today.